There's somebody missing. Who could it be? Someone to keep the scores for you. It's Angelos Epithemo. She called me Mr. Boom. Fantastic. Thank you very much. This is Mr. Good morning to you, Angelos. Good morning. Good, good morning. Afternoon. Good morning. Have you got some good noises for us today? Yeah, I've got a few lined up for you today. <laughs> and that's just an example. <laughs> <laughs> so, where do you get all your stuff for your pan shop, Angelos? Well, because it's all rubbish, I, I get it from abroad. Right. <laughs> so have you actually ever been abroad? Yeah, I've been abroad, yeah. I went abroad yeah, earlier on in the year. I went to Greece to see my brother, but I went on a boat. Because of the environment, thank you, I went on a boat because I will not fly. No. Yeah, what were you doing over there? I was working at his tyre incineration factory. <laughs> <laughs> And it's, uh, it was six, wasn't it? Six, six seconds. seconds. Six seconds. Well, but just so you can... know, when you drink it at night, you don't have to drink a pint in six seconds. <laughs> you can take your time with it. It's not, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well done, Angelos. Angelos. Angelos, what are the scores? What are the scores? Oh, oh, Jack's got two and Ulrika's got three. Well done, Ulrika. Yeah. Barack Obama, Barack Obama, Barack Obama's bubble car. Jamie Oliver, Jamie Oliver, Jamie Oliver's slavering jar. is the clips round. I'm going to ask both teams to watch Good the clip on their monitors. Watch carefully because the question follows. It's MasterChef featuring Peter Kay. So, Peter Kay, lovely to have you on the show. Same. So, Peter, tell us, what's on the menu today? Clackers. Who remembers Clackers? That was a lovely playground favourite. Do you remember the Aztec bar? The Steakhouse Killer who remembers that? Norman! You remember the Steakhouse Guild, don't you? There's always a Norman, isn't there? Always somewhere there's a Norman. You remember Norman Churches? Yeah, but Peter, what's on the menu? They were good, weren't they, Norman Churches? was a lovely architecture around the doorway. No, those are very good memories. Who remembers old-fashioned trousers? Do you remember, all, remember we, in olden days we used to wear old-fashioned trousers? Do you remember that? You do, don't you? Look, these are fabulous memories, Peter. Do you but remember... what's on your menu? Do you remember puffer lumps? Do you remember paraffin lamps? That was an old-fashioned style of eating, wasn't it? Do you remember uh, asbestos? That was very difficult to remove from your roofing cavities, wasn't it? Do you remember panda props? Do you remember donkey jackets with the leather panel at the back? Do you remember that? We've all enjoyed the memories, Peter. Do you remember, uh, you've enjoyed us in to me memories, haven't you? Do you remember Dirty Den? Stop remember... living in the past, Peter. Move on. Do you remember blunderbusses? That was an old-fashioned type of weapon. Remember... Yeah, you remember young lad when you remember Dirty Clubs? You've enjoyed it. Why are you story? Why are you reminding people of these things? Remember arsenic? That was an old-fashioned... Like waters, Jacob, Sandy, Krakatoa, Bastard, Vincel... Peter Kay there, reminding people of things they'd uh, previously known but forgotten that they were aware of anymore. <laughs> and I'll ask Team B first. It featured a werewolf, that clip. Which is a man turn... It featured a werewolf, which, of course, is a man turning into a wolf on a full moon. But can you tell me what some men turn into on a half moon? A werewolf. A werewolf. Going We're going with the werewolf. We're going with the werewolf. Team A. Uh, I reckon it must be a Y-wolf. A Y-wolf? Like, like a wolf, but no point to him. <laughs> well, What's the answer? Well, well, I'm afraid neither are right, because on a half moon, some men turn into a fox. <gasps> and on a quarter moon, a sausage dog. <laughs> That's the end of the clip round, so what are the scores? Angelos! Angelos. You don't want to ask what's in me bag? 
Not yet. Uh, not yet, no. OK, sorry about that. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Hello. Hi. That Top Gear thing is like last of the summer wine now, isn't it? With you, sir. Yeah. Hey, do you know you're with your burger van? I forgot to ask. That's gone. So, but yeah, but uh, what about insurance? That sort of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got the insurance money. That's come through. How much you get? Three thousand pounds. Nice one. It is, was a nice one. Yes, yes. Spend it on something good, something what I needed, something very important. Thank new, you. New burger van? No. A deposit on a flat No, no, no. no. A task. <laughs> three grand on a task? Yeah, three grand. It's investment, in it? Because everyone is banging the elephants now. <laughs> <laughs> Detail there. They're mucking about in the woods. You can't see that. But what are the scores, Angelos? One, two, two, seven, eight, one, three, two. Angelos! What have Team A got? One. <laughs> no, they haven't. They had two. Two. <laughs> what have Team B got? Four, four, three. Thank you. Thank you, Angelus. <laughs> Next round is the Dove from Above round. I'd like all the players to assist me in beckoning down that beautiful plump dove from above. Ooh. And surely she will come. Ooh. Down she comes. Down comes that wonderful dove. Come on down, and let's make love. <laughs> Louis, yes. would you care to pick a category from the flange of the dove? Mm, I wouldn't normally go as close to the flange, but <laughs> I think I'll go for go. 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 Very well. That's Angelos's variety showcase. Have a look at this. Angelos is going to present us with some fantastic showbiz turn. Watch carefully. The question follows. <laughs> nice jeggings, Ange. Thank you. It's National Jeggings Day. I know that. Fantastic dance, I'm sure you'll agree. No, it was. It was no, phenomenal. No. I'll give you a point if you can better that dance. I don't know if I can. I mean, that would... If you can better it, come on, get out, on, get out here. <laughs> if you can chop Angelos, you get the point. <laughs> Two, one, go. Which was best? We better ask Angelos. It's for you to judge it, Angelos. Who's the best, you or Louis? Me. He's a clown. <laughs> Sorry, Louis. Louis. No, I'll right. let him have that one. Louis. Yes, Louis, darling. I have seen you on that program. What you do? Yeah. And with your top off and all I your know. muscles out and all that stuff. You must pull the birds like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Like you wouldn't believe. Well, well done anyway, Louis. Cheers, lad. Importantly, let's find out what's in Angelos's bag. What's in your, your bag, bag, Angelos? Tell us what is in your bag, you bastard. A plastic pen and a cigarette and a lump of the internet. <laughs> well, that's what's in your bag, Angelos. What's in there? Jack. <clears throat> Am I coming home with you tonight? Uh, I can give you a lift, but you're not coming back to m my house. I'll give you a lift. I'll drop you off near your shop. Excuse me? I said you're not coming back to my uh, house. Uh, uh, excuse me? I said I'll I'm give you... I'm sorry. 
I'll give you a lift back. To... I'll drop you off near your shop. You're not coming back to my house. Yeah, do what you like. <laughs> you can stop at mine, Angelos. Not interested. <laughs> Louise, stop at Louise. <laughs> yeah, that could be fun. <laughs> Hmm, I'm sure you are. <laughs> <laughs> what are the scores, Angelos? Jack's got two, or has got five. Ooh, hey, hey. Hey. Next round's quick fire round. We're against the clock. We don't know how much time we've got, but when the time's up, you'll hear this noise. Kicking. <laughs> now we're against the clock, as I said.